प्रिंस बोलिए गजानन स्वामी की जय उमापति महादेव की जय पवन सुत हनुमान की जय आज शक्ति नव दुर्गा माता की जय प्रवर सजनो आप लोग कराओ जाए प्लीज स्टैंड एज वी ज्वाइन वंस अगेन ऑन दिस फोर्थ नाइट ऑफ द सेवन नाइट्स यज्ञ ग्लोरीफाइंग एंड प्रेजिंग द डिवाइन मदर धरती माँ we first pay our tribute to the divine lord bhagwan shri ganesh that may he guide us in thought words and deeds om gananam twa ganapati gwam havamahe kavim kavinam upamashravastamam ज्येषराज ब्रह्मना ब्रह्मनस्पत आन श्रृण्वन्नूतिदन ओं श्रीमन्महागणाधिपत नम ओं भद्रम कर्णे शृणुयाम देवा भद्रम पश्येमाक्षबिजत्रा स्थिरंग स्तुष्टुवागम सस्तनो व्यशेम देवित यदायु स्वस्ति न इंद्रो वृद्धश्रवा स्वस्ति न पूषा विश्ववेदा स्वस्ति नस्ताक्षोर ऋष्ठ ने स्वस्ति नो बृहस्पतिर्दा ओ नमस्ते शारदे देवी काश्मीर पुर्वासनी काश्मीरपुरवासनी ताम प्राथे नित्यम विद्यादान चेहि मे ओं अखंडमंडलाकार व्याप्त ये नाचर तत्पम दर्शि ये न तस्म श्रीगुरव नम ओं गुरोरब्रह गुरोष्णु गुरोदेव महेशर गुरु साक्षात परम ब्रह तस्म श्रीगुरव नम तस्म श्रीगुरव नम ओं श्री अनुभवानंदय नम ओं श्री चिन्मयानंदय नम ओं श्री गुरुदत्ताय नम ओं श्री सत्य साईश्वराय नम ओं श्री तपोवनाय नम ओं श्री व्यास्तेवाय नम वी बाउ टू द लाइट ऑफ दिस यूनिवर्स दट लाइट दट शाइन्स नॉट ओनली इन द आउटर वर्ल्ड बट शाइन्स इन द इनर वर्ल्ड we pray that in our dark moments ma may your light lead us from darkness to light from untruth to truth and from death to immortality hey dharti ma every step that we take oh devi we crave your protection and your blessings ma thank you thank you for today and the thousands of steps that we would have taken that was not only physical some would have been emotional intellectual and spiritual steps all governed by your grace and divine mercies may this light shine in the hearts that are covered in darkness tonight may this light shine in the homes that may be bright but dark because of unhappiness may this light shine in the lives of those who are lying on the hospital beds tonight and praying for a miracle that they may be healed through the light of your grace and the light of health we bow to you and we seek your grace and guidance now and always ma gauri daya ki jai jag janani daya ki jai umar ma brahmani umar ma brahmani अपने शरण लीजे 
माँ गौरी दया कीजे वस्त्रों में मैया श्वेत वस्त्र में मैया लागे छवि प्यारे माँ गौरी दया की जय तुम्हारे अंगिन भक्त तुम्हारे अंगिन नित प्रतिगुण गाता माँ गौरी दया की जय प्रगति ही माँ चल के घर प्रगति ही माँ चल के घर बन शिव पार्वती माँ गौरी दया की जय नव दुर्गो की मैया अतवन तेर स्वरू माँ अतवन तेर शिव भी मोहित हो गाए शिव भी मोहित हो गाए देख तेरा करो माँ गौरी दया की जय तेरी करे माँ जो व्रत तेरा करे पत प्यार तुम्हारा पत प्यार तुम्हारा भव सिंधु तेरे माँ गौरी दया की जय वेद पुराण में महिमा तेरी माँ अपरम मैया तेरी अपरम हम अज्ञानी कैसे हम अज्ञानी कैसे पाए तुम्हारे प्यार माँ गौरी दया की जय माँ गौरी दया की जय जग जननी दया की जय कुमार माँ ब्रह्मानी कुमार माँ ब्रह्मानी अपनी शरण की जय माँ गौरी दया की जय गनी 
Srinandan Shri Gane Everyone Mauri Gane Mamahe Parati Nandan Shri Gane शांति औषधि शांति वनस्पति शांति विश्वदेव शांति ब्रह्म शांति सर्वगुम शांति शांति रेवा शांति सामा शांति रिधि ओम शांति 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 प्रिंस बुले धरती माता के जय उमापति महादेव के जय पवन सुत हनुमान के जय आप लोग आसन लीजिए प्लीज बी सीटेड इट इज विद ग्रेट प्लेजर वंस अगेन माई फ्रेंड्स ऑन बिहाफ of senator the honorable devroop timal president of the national council of indian culture on behalf of shri surajdeer mangru first vice president communication officer pandit kuldeep and the management team of the ncic once again we take the opportunity to say a very warm and special welcome to each and every one of you who have come to join with us on this the fourth night of the seven nights yagya glorifying and praising the divine mother in the form of dharti ma tonight indeed we are very blessed to also be in the presence of the former president shri pandit dr devkinanan sharma ji pandit ji once again our humble salutations at your lotus like feet and we thank you for your presence once again you are indeed leading by example as a president of the ncic and now you are supporting the ones that you have guided in taking the national council of indian culture forward and so we thank you for your leadership and we thank you for your blessings to all of us we would like to say a very warm welcome to the members of the baratariya vishnu mandir to all the shrotas thank you for being here thank you for participating and of course performing puja and creating that wonderful energy and vibration that would have done through the medium of worship and puja to all you wonderful devotees thank you for being here we have i acknowledge the presence of dr vijay narayan singh once again and didi shiromani thank you so very much for being here and your blessings i am i am um, i think i am seeing geeta ji jai sitaram didi geeta ji officiated on the first two nights of this yagya we like to say thank you so very much for coming and of course bringing blessings to us all i'm sure the two nights that she was here everyone would have enjoyed the blessing that flowed through the medium of the scriptures and of course the inspiration gain from dharti mata as we saw last night just to recap a little bit of last night's message we saw where my friends from the uh, bhagwat mahapuran dharti mata assumed the form of a cow and uh, bhagwan assumed the form of a bull he was called dharmaraj and kali came into being and he was beating the bull and mother dharti was crying 
And when she saw three of the legs of the bull was broken, he asked her many questions. Ma, are you crying? Because a time will come when people of immoral character will be ruling the world. Are you crying because there will be no more daya, no more compassion for anyone? Are you crying because children will abuse their parents? Are you crying because animals will be slaughtered and taken advantage of? Are you crying because women will be abused? Dharmaraj is asking Dharati Ma. And the conversation went on as we saw last night. And tonight we continue, well, in fact we stopped last night where we saw, my friends, that these were things that was predicted thousands of years ago and it continues. And as a matter of fact, it's only the beginning. What we are seeing today is only the beginning of what happens and what will happen. Tonight, as we go into our discourse, we concluded last night where we spoke about looking at three things. One is called Vasudeva Sarvam. Second one is called Vasudeva Kutumbakam. And the third one is called as Sarva Bhuta Hita. In the Hindu concept, Dharati Mata is indeed mother. In the Hindu concept, Dharati Mata is the nourisher. She is the substratum. She is the supporter. Dharati Mata is Mother Earth. And we will see, my friends, how we can relate to everything on the earth, seeing it as divine, seeing it as auspicious, seeing it as sacred from tonight's perspective and from tonight's discourse. But before we do this, we join, today being Tuesday, in singing the Sri Hanuman Chalisa. And we pray the grace of Hanuman Swami be upon Dharti Mata. We pray that may the blessing of Hanuman be upon our motherland, Trinidad and Tobago and we dedicate the Hanuman Chalisa tonight to our mothers our sisters our daughters and the Lakshmi in our lives our beloved Dharmapatni we pray that our mothers sisters, daughters and the wives always be strong because you are the support you are the Dharti in our families in our lives and of course, you are the foundation that the structure of a family is built on. Tonight, to all the females, may Hanuman Baba bless you. As we close our eyes, we pray that, O oh Shri Hanuman, you remain on this earth, on Dharati Ma, for a reason. At the time when Mariada uh, Purushottam Sri Ram was sending back all his devotees and vanaras. He chose you to remain on Dharati Ma because he knew that Kali would want to overthrow his devotees and hurt their feelings and their families and the family structure will be broken because of Kali. He did not only br uh, break the legs of Dharmaraj, but he will break up families. Oh Hanuman. He will break institutions. He will break the morals of Sanatan Dharma. He will hurt the very core of society where respect will be lost. O oh, Hanuman, in the words of Mariyada Purushottam Sri Ram, please remain on this earth. And just like Maharaj Parikshit, was about to protect the earth
from the onslaught of Kali, O Hanuman. The challenge is now yours. The battle is now yours. As you look at the hearts of your devotees and your children, as you look at us all, He Mahavir, He Sankat Mochan, Shri Guru Charana Saro Jaraja, Nijamana Mukura Sudhari, Varanao Raghuvar Vimala Jasu, Jodaya Kupal Chari, Buddhihina Tanujani Ke, Sumirao Pavana Kumar, Bal Budhi Vidya Dehu Mohi, Arahu Kale, Savikar Dharati Mata needs you more than ever O Hanuman Swami Jai Hanuman Gyan Gun Sagar Jai Kapi Sati Hulo Kaujagar Ram Dut Tulit Bal Dhama Anjali Putra Pavan Sut Nama Mahavir Vikram Bajrangi Kumati Var Sumati Ke Sangi Kanchan Varan Viraj Subesa Kanan Kundal Kunchit Ke Sa Aat Vajra Or Vaja Virajai Kandhi Mooja Jane Ur Sa Jai Shankar Suvan Ke Sari Nandana Teja Pratap Mahajagavan Vidyavan Guni Ti Chatur Tam Taj Kari Beko Atur Prabhu Charitra Suni Beko Rasiya Ram Lakan Sita Man Basiya Suchma Rupa Dhari Siya Hitikava Vikat Rupa Dhari Lanka Charava Dheema Rupa Dhari Asura Sanare Ram Chandra Ke Kaja Savare Raya Sanjeevan Lakhan Ji Aaye Shri Raghu Veena Harachi Uralaye Raghu Pati Ke Ne Bahut Varaye Tum Mama Priya Bharatai Samabhaye Sahasa Vadana Tumharo Yash Gave Ast Kahi Shri Pati Kantal Gave San Kaadik Brahm Adi Muni Sa Narad Sarad Sahit Ahi Sa Jam Kuber Dig Paal Jaate Kabhi Ko Vidak Sakai Kahate Tum Opakar Sudri Vahe Ki Na राम मिलाय राज पद देना तुम्हारो मंत्र भी दीशन माना लंकेश्वर भय सब जग जाना युग सहस्त्र जो जन पर भानु लियो ताही मधुर पल जानो रब मोत्र का मिले मुक्त माही जल दिलांगी गई अचर जनाही दुर्गम काज जगत के जेते सुगमानो ग्रह तुम्हारी दे दे राम दुवारे तुम रखवारे उतना आज्ञा बिन कई सारे सब सुकल है तुम्हारी सरना तुम्हारा छक काहूं तो दरना आपन तेज समारो आपे तीनों लोग हाथ के तापे भूत अपिसाच निकट नहीं आवे पावीर जब नाम सुनावे ना सहरो कहरे सब पीरा जपत निरंतर हनुमत दीरा संकट से हनुमान चुरावे मन क्रम वचन ज्ञान जो सब पद राम तपस्वी राजा तिनके काज सकल तुम साजा 
और मनोरथ जो कोई लावे सुयमित जीवन फल पावे चारो युग पर ताप तुम्हारा है प्रसिद्ध जगत उजियारा साधु संत के तुम रखवारे असुर कंदन राम दुलारे अष्ट से दिनाव निधि के दाता असुर दीन जान की माता राम रसायन तुम्हारे पासा सदा रहो रघुपति के दासा तुम्हारे भजन राम को पावे जन्म जन्म के दुख बिसरावे अंत काल रघुवर पुर जाई जहाँ जन्म हरि भक्त कहाई और देवता चित्तन धरई हनुमत से सब सुख करई संकट कत सब पीरा जो सुन रहे हनुमत बल बीरा जय 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 हनुमान गुसाई बात रहो गुरुदेव तिलाए जो शत मार पात कर कोई चुत ही बंदी महासुखोई जो यह पर हनुमान चालीसा कोई सेत सा की गौरी सा तुलसीदास सदा हरि चेरा बजरंगा बले बजरंगा बले बजरंगा बले हो बजरंगा बले महावीर बले महावीर बले महावीर बले महावीर बले बजरंगा बली हो बजरंगा बली ओ बजरंगा बली ओ बजरंगा बली महावीर बली महावीर बली ओ महावीर बली महावीर बली महावीर ओ संकट मोचन हनुमान स्वामी मे योर ब्लेसिंग बी इन अवर हार्ट्स इन अवर होम्स इन अवर लाइफ्स मे योर ब्लेसड बी इन अवर ब्लेसड कंट्री श्री राम देवो ओ हनुमान जी द वर्ल्ड नीड्स यू धरती माता नीड्स यू प्रभु धरती माता नीड्स यू एंड योर डिवाइन प्रोटेक्शन फॉर हर चिल्ड्रन हैज गॉन एज इफ आउट ऑफ कंट्रोल द माइंड्स एंड इमोशंस ऑफ हर चिल्ड्रन इज रनिंग वाइल्ड ओ हनुमान स्वामी यू आर the control of the senses you are sankat mochan the one who destroys all negativities as you look at your children tonight please bless us please protect us please protect the harti ma bajranga bali ho bajranga bali bajranga bali ho bajranga bali ho bajranga bali नय संकट हरण मंगल मोर तिरु राम लखन सीता सहित हृदय बसहु सुरभो अस हनुमान जी ब्रॉट कंफर्ट टू मा सीता वी प्रे दैट ही आल्सो ब्रिंग्स कंफर्ट टू धरती मा as she spoke with dharmaraj he looked at her and he said ma i have been speaking for so long and i want you to tell me why why are you grieving so much and she spoke and she said that the reason why i'm grieving and hurting so much is because i have lost my children i have lost 
my children, not physically, but have lost them because there are no more values. And she says further, through the Bhagavad Katha, as Suji Maharaj explains, Shri Govindaya Namo Namam Paramatmaya Krishnaya Govindaya Namo Namaha Paramatmaya Ramaya Govindaya Namo Namaha Dharanyo Vaja Dharati Mata spoke Bhavan hi Veda Tat Sarvam Yanmam Dharmanu Prachati Chatur Vivartate Yena Pade Loka Sukalavay Satyam Shaucham Dayak Shanti Tyaga Santosha Arjavam Shamo Damashta Samyam Titiksho Parate Shrutam Gyanam Viratina Shainam Shariam Tejo Balam Smriti Swatantram Kaushalam Kanti Dardyamar Dhavami Vacha Pragamya Presha Shilam Saha Ojo Balam Bagha Gamye Bhiryam Tvaryamasti Tvachyam Kirti Mano Kirihi Paramatamaya Krishnaya Govindaya Namo Namaha Yam Brahma Varunendra Rudra Maruta Stunuvanti Divyaistavai Vedar Sangha Padakramo Panishadai Gayanti Yam Samaga Dhyana Vastit Targate Namanasa Pashyanti Yam Yogino Yasyantam Navidusura Suragana Devayatasmai Namaha Ete chanya chabha vagam yadityah yatra maha gunaha Prascharya maha tachino bhavati viryan smari kichit Tenaham guna patra ne shriti maha vase sama pratatam Shochami rahitam lokam Pāpmanā kalinē kshitam Shri Govindāya namah Paramātmāya Krishnāya Govindāya namo namah Dharyan Uvacha Dharati Mata spoke And we are just going back a little bit from where we stopped last night when she said, you know O Dharma You are already aware of the cause of my sorrow as I told you last night. Your four legs, which brings happiness to the world, were all till now sustained by Bhagwan Sri Krishna. And this is one of the main reasons I am sad tonight, she said. I don't know if you remember, O Dharma, I don't know if you remember. But do you remember when he was here? How sweet everything was. Everything around us was so beautiful. The rivers were so nectar-like. The birds would chirp. In the early hours of the morning, now they are scared. The light of the sun was soothing and so too that of the moon. The stars would twinkle so beautifully lightening up Dhartima. My heart felt happy. And what was most amazing when his little feet would run hiding from my Yashoda I felt so happy that my Lord was running on my body. 
I felt so happy that when he would steal the makhan and he would hide in the little corners and he would eat dharma, I felt happy. For my Lord was, pro uh, was protecting me. Everything was so sweet about him. Adaram madhuram Vadanam madhuram Nayanam madhuram Hasitam madhuram Hridayam madhuram Gamanam madhuram Madhuradipate Akilam Madhuram A mother Dharati describing the Lord that his smile was so sweet his eyes were sweet his cheeks and his face were so sweet she is upon reflection thinking about the times when he was on the earth she looks at Dharmaraj and see and weeping because three of the legs broken and she's asking herself the question why? Why did all this sweetness leave me? What have I done? What have I done that the Lord had to leave his sweet feet had to leave this earth? Madura Ripate Akila Maduram Everything about him was so sweet. Vachanam madhuram His words were sweet Charitam madhuram His actions were honey-like Vasanam madhuram Valitam madhuram Chalitam madhuram Brahmitam Madhuram Madhuradipati Akilam Madhuram I remember the way he used to be dressed Ma Yashoda will dress him will dress him in the beautiful Pitambar Dhoti and the peacock feather was we tuck on his head the Basuri he will hide he would hit himself under the trees and he will play his Basuri the Yamuna would as if she would stop flowing because Venur Maduro, the Basri was so sweet. His clothes looked so beautiful. I never had any fear, even though the demons were attacking. I still blossomed and I bloomed. Geetam Maduram. Pitam madhuram, bhuktam madhuram, suptam madhuram, rupam madhuram, tilakam madhuram, madhuradipate, akilam madhuram. She is saying to Dharmaraj, his beautiful tilak was so sweet. Every corner of my being was protected. Dharma, aap bataiye na, kya hua? Please tell me, O oh Dharma, what has happened? What has happened? Because I am grieving now that this world which is gripped in the hands of evil, of this evil Kali, I am suffering. My children, I have lost them and friends. I want you to remember this tonight. The verses that we just chanted from the Bhagavad Mahapuran, Dharti Mata said that my children are as follows. Satyam Saucham Dayadanam Shanti Tyaga Santosha Arjavam. Now these 
these words are mentioned in the Gita also. She says, I have lost my children. I have lost truth. I have lost purity. I have lost kindness. This is the reason why I am crying. I have lost patience. You know, in the, this very sad Bhagavad Mahapuran, all the way down in the last canto, when Guru Dattatreya was asked about his 24 gurus, he said, one of my gurus is a python, a snake. I have learned that from the python that what is mine will come to me. The python will sit and wait. His, its food will come. He may, wait, may, uh, he may wait rather a week, a day, a week, a month, but his food will come. That whatever is ours, nobody in this world can take it from us. But yet we fight out of greed. We function in the world out of negativity. We corrupt ourselves and live like a stain on the earth, on Dharatima. She says, in fact, Dattatreya says, he says, one of my guru is the earth. Dhartima is my guru. And he was asked, why? What did you learn from the earth? And Guru Dattatreya said, I have learned stability. I have learned how to be firm. I have learned how to be strong. And most of all, I have learned from Dhartima how to be patient. Mothers, all the mothers and well, let me just ask the mothers, huh? <laughs> mothers, are you patient? Is there a mother without patience? My mother had lots of patience. That's what a mother is. Patience personified. Stability personified. I'm not talking about a woman, you know. I'm talking about the mother in the woman. The mother in the woman is different from the wife in the woman. The mother in the woman is different from the sister in the woman. The, wo the mother in the woman is different from the wife in the woman. The mother in the woman is the strength of the woman. As a wife, she may not be, she may be different. As a sister, she might be different. She might be less weak, in fact, weaker rather. As a daughter, she might be weak. But you see, when it comes to motherhood, she is a tower of strength. Dharti Mata says here, I have lost patience. I have lost my son, generosity. I have lost my, my daughter, joy. I have lost straightforwardness, arjavam. I have lost restraint. I have lost titiksha, o dharma. I cannot endure anymore. I cannot restrain myself anymore. My children have lost the ability to restrain their mind from being extroverted and they have lost control of themselves because they are now so extrovert that all they are going, they, in fact, they are going out only. They are not going in. The journey for my children is outwards in this dark age of Kali Yuga, in Satya Yuga, in Treta Yuga, in Dwapar Yuga, you would find so many who had the journey from the outer to the inner. But in Kali Yuga, 90% of my children will be going outwards and 10% will be going inwards. I have lost this, O Dharmaraj. In Dharati Mata says, in the dark under the influence of Kali Yuga, I have lost Shama. Shama means the ability in Vedanta. In Vedanta, Shama means, according to Bhagwan Shankar Acharya and his definition, he says Shama means the ability to not only control the mind, but the ability to control the emotions of the mind. The ability to control the mind and not be influenced by the emotions of the mind, that is called a Shama in Vedanta or Shamaha. And Damaha, we can talk probably a whole night or two on shama, dhamma, uparama, titiksha, etc. And those qualities of an individual that mother uh, Dharati Mata is calling her children tonight. But 
Dhamma, dhamma, dhamma meaning, according to Vedanta again, dhamma means controlling of the senses. And this is where Dharti Mata says here, I have lost this from my children. Any mother and father here tonight who sees their sons and daughters out of control, or anyone that they love and care about out of control, and they try to bring them back through counseling or some method of bringing them back under control, and they lose hope, my friends, tell me how that, person's feel, that person feels. When you lose hope in controlling someone that you love and care about, and you see that person is destroying themselves, and there is nothing you could do. A couple of weeks ago, I received a call from someone, and that person was grieving. That person was crying. That person was in pain because his family was falling apart. Brothers and sisters, there are many people who are not losing family members, they are losing themselves. And Dharati Mata says here, I have lost Damaha. I have lost austerity. In Kali Yuga, under the influence of Kali Yuga, there will be no more titiksha. You know what is titiksha? Titiksha means the ability to endure. Nobody will want to practice titiksha anymore. Or probably 10% of the world's population, my friends, will want to practice titiksha. The ability to endure, meaning that they will not be affected by the peers of opposites. Let me just put it that way. That person will not be affected by the peers of opposites or will not complain about the peers of opposites. Titiksha it is called. And she says, in the dark age of Kaluk, she gives a whole list. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six verses in the skanda, first skanda of the Bhagavad Mahapuran, chapter 17. And she says here, there will be no more austerity. This is the reason why I am in this, this part of sorrow. There will be lack of spiritual knowledge. And when the knowledge will be given, it will not be taken. Sad part. The knowledge will be given, but it will not be taken. And if it is given, and it is not absorbed into the hearts and minds of my children, then what is the use of this knowledge, O Dharma? Then what is the use of this knowledge? She says, I have lost this. I have lost courage, friends. While we speak tonight about Dharti Mata, she is saying that she has lost courage. Our mother Dharti Ma, the mother of this world, in Kali Yuga, she would have lost this child. Courage. Gyanam Virakteshchai Shaucham Tejobalam Smritihi Swatram Kaushalam Kantihi Dairiam Mardavamevacha Oh Dharmaraj, you ask me why I am grieving? You ask me why I am crying? Because I know that I am going to lose not only my present qualities, let me just call these children now qualities, but I'm going to lose the future one also. Meaning what? The goodness or the, the goodness of nature of my children will be gone. I would lose what we call Shraddha, I would lose adorability. And you know what? In Kalyu, the ego will take over. There'll be so much of a hankar. As soon as someone achieves something, they will be blown out of control. Dharma, this is the reason why I am crying. This is the reason why I feel this pain. 
This is the reason why I am telling you this and because in Kali Yuga, there will be darkness in spite of all the light. And this is where she asked the question, Oh Krishna, why did you leave? Krishna, why did you leave me? And as her tears drop, she says, look at what has happened. Oh Krishna. Aaj andheri me hai hum insaan Gyan ka suraj chamka de bhagwan Aaj andheri सूरज चमका दे Please grant us this Vardhan, grant us this boon once again. Jandhi 
shine upon us let us not be in the 90% category let us be in the 10% oh krishna let this knowledge penetrate in every aspect of our being we ask of you this night so that dharti ma will be relieved in some way gyan ka suraj chamka de bhagwan ज्ञान का सूरज चमका दे भगवान फ्रेंड्स यू नो वाई ऑल दो चिल्ड्रन ऑफ धरती माँ हज गॉन आई कैसे चिल्ड्रन आई कैसे क्वालिटीज गुनाज इज सिंपली बिकॉज we have lost vasudeva sarvam we have lost vasudeva kutumbakam and we have lost sarva bhuta hita you see my brothers and sisters wherever you look in hindu scriptures you find references reinforcing the central pillar of the hindu environmental thought that all is god all is sacred all is divine all is to be treated with reverence and respect because isha vasya midam sarvam according to the isha vasya upanishad all this isha vasya idam sarvam is isha everything is divine everything is sacred every one of us are sacred every one of us are divine but not only the humans everything around us also divines and so my friends as one very uh, knowledgeable individual op dwivedi points out three grand concepts build on this treism he says vasudeva sarvam the supreme resides in all beings the supreme resides in all beings second vasudeva kutumbakam at banaras hindu university at one of the dorms there is it written written right there on top vasudeva kutumbakam because people from all over the world comes in there to study so they they are indicating that hey vasudeva kutumbakam the world is one village the world is one family don't see yourself as separate or different from each other so the global village vasudeva kutumbakam the family of mother earth the family of dharti mata is the original global village and sarva bhuta hita the welfare of all beings hinduism and ecology brothers and sisters add to those the law of karma by which the effects of our deeds return to us and you and i my friends has to face it we have to face it the law of karma regardless to whatever we do to someone or whatever we do to netya or whatever we do to dharti ma the effects of karma will certainly come back brothers and sisters at the highest level there is no distinction in composition between the world we perceive and the divine rather than being created out of a separate substance the universe and everything within it the planet we inhabit and everything upon it is emanated from the divine my friends everything is emanated from the divine and it is so beautifully said in the mundaka upanishad as well as the uh, brihad aranyaka upanishad it is said in these two upanishads and many other upanishads and sutras and stotras and in the bhumi suktam etc so many texts that points out this all pervasiveness of divinity and when we speak of dharti mata we are trying to create uh, or recreate the concept of divinity in everything on the earth in the mundaka upanishad it is said the verse is given as it is said in verse number 1 in chapter 1 verse 1 verse number 7 that 
have you ever thought about where the web comes from when the spider spits out the web? Where it came from? Did somebody create or made this, the web and give it to the spider and he... Or the spider like Spider-Man? Press a button somewhere here and you see some web comes out and... You see, Nimit the Karan and Upadan Karan. The spider is both the material cause of the web and the spider is also the cause of it. So from the spider comes the web and he does what he could do with it. And from the outside, the spider can also withdraw the web. Like that, have you ever wondered where the hair is coming from on your head? If we ask some of the doctors, they probably might open on top to see if there is a hair bank inside here. I should, certainly do have in this part here. <laughs> if, if there's a, a, a hair bank there, we bank real low. Right? <laughs> you see, the hair comes from the head. Like the web comes from the spider. And in the same way, everything in this world comes from the spider of divinity that we call Bhagwan, we call consciousness, we call Brahma, we call Shiva, we call Vishnu. Everything comes from that divinity, like the web coming from the spider, both Nimitta Karan and Upadan Karan, and to it, it shall return. In the Upanishad, Brihat Aranyaka Upanishad, it is said, it speaks of the creatures and the creation. The earth is honey for all creatures, and Dharti Mata, my friends, is honey for all creatures, and all creatures is honey for... Dharati Mata also is honey for all creatures. So vice versa. The earth, my friends, the shining immortal principle that we call Brahman, is in every part of the earth. That's why last night I mentioned, I didn't go into the full discourse or the katha of how Lord Vishnu lifted the earth, but I just referred to it, you know? But there was a beautiful message in the Bhagavad Puran on how he lifted her from under the waters, etc. And there's so much of philosophy in that also. But the concept, the principle we are trying to create tonight is that on this Dharti Mata, everything is divine. So let us look at Vasudeva Sarvam. Divinity in all. You see, the attitude of Vasudeva Sarvam bestows reverence for all things and all beings. Just like we know we say Namaste, Sitaram. Why do you say Sitaram? Siya Ram Mai Sab Jag Jani Karahu Pranam Chori Juga Pani Siya Ram Mai Sab Jag Jani Karahu Pranam Chori Juga Pani In everything there is divinity. So when we want to sustain the earth and when we want Mother Earth to flourish and to, to be protected, we have to have this attitude and live according to these principles of divinity. I see some of you looking at me like, Baba, why are you singing your Shri Rama Jaya Rama Jaya Jaya Rama Ram Jay Ram Jay Jay Ram
everything in this world as divine. So, this attitude of Vasudeva Sarvam is to help us develop ourselves in a spiritual way to see everything and everyone of, uh, as divine. Today we say Sitaram, but do we see Sitaram? We say Namaste, but do we feel Namaste? I look at you and I say Namaste, which means the divine in me bow to the divine in you. The divine in me bows to the divine in you. Some people who are of other religion, they don't want to say Sitaram, so they say Namaste. So the divine in me bow to the divine in you. Friends, this attitude of reverence for all things, it contrasts starkly with the dominant outlook today rooted in the scientific materialism and dualistic Western metaphysics in which humans are separate from nature and God is separate from both. While Western civilization considers human life to be sacred, Hinduism views all life of all existence as sacred. On this Dharati Mata, the mainstream of the modern environmental movement recognizes, my friends, the folly of taking more from nature than we can really give back to her. We take more from Dharati Ma than we can really give back to her. Friends, and as a result of this, we lose the sacredness of this attitude towards Dharati Ma. Looking at Vasudeva Kutumbakam, the world is one family. Yeah, right. We can't live good with our own family in the same house. Far more to live good with all the other families. Vasudeva Kutumbakam, meaning the global village. Today, when you get up in the morning and you're in your own house and you see somebody who you're supposed to love, you can't smile because that person don't love you anymore. Or well, that person don't respect you anymore. Right in the same house. Some nights ago, was, was it some night? No, not some nights ago. Probably some years ago, we made, we said something, you know, that, or was it last night I, I reflected a little bit on it, um, that says, you know, in ancient times, the war used to be between the Deutas and the Asuras in heaven and Patal. As time went on, the war went on between two countries, Ayodhya, India, and Lanka, two different countries over waters. In Dwapar Yoga, the war went on between two families. And in Kali Yoga, the war will not happen between only two families. It will happen inside of us. All through Satyug, Treta Yug, Dwapar Yug, Kali Yug, the war is getting closer and closer and closer. And this is why Dharati Mata is suffering. And so Vasudeva Kutumbaka means, my friends, once we understand that everyone and everything we see is an expression and what you call emanation of the divine, we naturally embrace the globe as a village. We embrace the globe as a family. Vasudeva Kutumbakam. Mother Earth supports us with her abundance, endowment, and riches. It is she, my friends, who nourishes us. It is she who provides for us with the sustainable environment. And as it is said here, she, when angered by the misdeeds of her children, she punishes them with with what? Natural disasters. You think natural disasters happen by guess? You all think when we get a little earthquake, we get a little shake up. That is because of some scientific reason. When there is, when Mother Earth reacts in an aggressive way, what causes a mother to react in an aggressive way? Mothers, you tell me. 
when the children misbehaving? You see, the Puranic, Puranic scriptures dramatizes it. Scientifically, it will give a different reason. You know, my friends, she punishes us with natural disasters. In the Atharva Ved, the Bhumi Sukta speaks about how there are certain hymns and certain mantras and certain slokas that glorifies and praises Dharti Mata. Remember in the mantra, in the very beginning of Puja, it says, Om Prithavi Tvaya Drata Loke Devi Tvam Vishnu Nadrata Tvam Cha Dharana Pavitram Kuruchasani I bow to Dharati Mata, I bow to you in the form of Prithavi. You are the essence of all that is happening here. And that's why we have Gauri Mata in every puja. Every Hindu who does puja have Gauri Mata. Since you started doing puja your whole life, you're worshipping Gauri Mata. This is just my personal experience, you know. In every single puja that I do, I always take some prasad and offer to Dharati Ma. Ma, thank you. That's it. No big set of prayer and mantra thing. Ma, thank you. It just comes to my mind to do that in every puja. Apart from the yajman, apart from you, the devotees, doing that and making your offering, there is always a special prasad for Gauri Mata. There is always a special place on the Hindu altar for Gauri Mata. As a matter of fact, we all know that when we get up first thing in the morning, what's the, what we do? Check which swara is free, put that foot on the ground first. Ask permission from Gauri Mata. Ma, I'm sorry that I'm going to place my feet upon you today, but I'm seeking your permission that every step that I take, may you be in comfort. And may I never go to any place today, Ma. The weight of my being is not in my weight, the weight of my body. The weight of my being is when I do things to hurt you. That is the weight Mother Earth cannot take. Mother Earth cannot take. She could take all of us and embrace us in one. You see this weight? You see this weight of flesh? This is her. This is Dharati Mata. The skin. The flesh. This is the earth element. You have five elements that makes up our being. Akash, Vayu, Agni, Jal, Prithvi. So the Hindu concept, this body is made up of earth. This is part of her. This is not a weight to her. Our body, our body weight, it might be our concern. <laughs> our body weight, concern for us, not for Dharati Ma. You know what causes her to be, to be uh, you know what causes her to be hurt? from our weight, not the physical weight. It is the negativities that happens on our mind, in our minds, what causes weight to Dharati Ma. The negativities in our mind, the negative actions that we perform. She doesn't care about if you are 110 pounds or 150 pounds or 250 pounds. You eat, man, enjoy. Khao piyo mauj karo. Eat and enjoy. Put on weight if you want, lose weight if you want. It doesn't matter to her. What she is concerned about, what Dharati Mata is concerned about is, are you causing unnecessary weight to me through your words, your thoughts, and your action? BMI? Through your body, mind, and intention? BMI is not body mass index. In Vedanta, BMI means your body, your mind, and your intelligence. If these are not in unison or in a straight line, that is what causes what you call pain and suffering to Dharati Mata. Friends, Vasudeva Kutumbaka means that we have to once again become that family that we once were. I don't see that happening. President G. How will that happen again? You all remember how long time used to be? Long time used to be so different. 
to know? Is it that we became more educated? And long time we were more <laughs> not educated? Is it that we became more professionals? And long time we were not professionals? What has changed? Time? What has changed from long ago to now? That we have lost this family-oriented spirit. Even in the temple they're fighting. Organizations, spiritual organizations have fight. We are going there because of she. We are going there because of he. I'm not doing this because of him. And even there is a fight also. Where are you supposed to go and just empty yourself into emptiness and just be? We get caught up. My Swamiji told me, you know. Swami Anubhavananda Ji, he told me, and not, not me, sorry, the class. He said, do not get caught up in the politics of organizations. And then when I came back to Trinidad, I was banned. I said, thank God, Jai Bhagwan, Guru Kripa. <laughs> I was banned from some organizations. And it never made a difference. Vasudeva Kutumbakam means where we look and respect each other as one family, brothers and sisters, and devotees of God. Once we understand Mother Earth's protection of life, Sarva Bhuta Hita, the wealthy of all beings. Once we understand Mother, Mother Earth's protection of life, we can understand how humans should act towards uh, one another and all forms of life. Thus we arrive at Sarva Bhuta Hita, enhancing the common good of all beings when we know that all is sacred, all is God, and all children of mother's, uh, Mother Earth, our behavior and our desire change accordingly or changes accordingly. Once we are connected to each other with that, that string of love, unconditional love, that is what is lacking, unconditional love. I love you because I could get something from you. Conditional love. I love you because I want something from you. I love you because if I don't get what I want, I don't love you anymore. That's the kind of love today. Conditional love. My friends, Sarva Bhuta Hita, the welfare of all beings. We have to understand that we are living for the common good of all. Like this morning, I was talking to one of our staff members at our office, and I was telling, I said, you know, when you work, when each one of you work, it's not about working for uh, each, any one of us, like my wife and myself. You're working for the, the company. It's the benefit of the company, not me or any form of management, etc. You're working for the company. So whatever you do, it is in the interest of the bigger good. So if somebody says something or do something to make you upset, forget about that. The company did nothing to you. Same thing for a spiritual organization. If you are there for spirituality, somebody say something, do something, forget about that. The bigger good is, I'm working for dharma. That should be the same concept when we function on this earth. Friends, the Divine Mother, She wants to be honored. She wants to feel protected again. And you know this very common, beautiful bhajan that we sing. Ma teri mamata kitni pyari 
कैन यू ऑल सिंग कितना प्यार जगाते हैं कितना प्यार जगाते हैं सिंह कैलाशी रश्मि जी वॉल्यूम दे फिर हम प्यार जगाती है माँ तेरी ममता इतनी प्यारी माँ तेरी ममता इतनी प्यारी कितना प्यार जगाती है कितना प्यार जगाती है श्वास श्वास की रक्षा करती श्वास श्वास की रक्षा करती पग पग प्राण बचाती है कितना प्यार जगाती है तेरी ममता कितनी प्यारी कितना प्यार जगाती कर्म 
An understanding of karma, my friends, ties together three grand concepts, informing us that our current condition is the combined product of our past actions in this life and previous incarnations, and actions that we take today will all be an effect tomorrow and for future generations. In this way, we are constantly creating our future and friends, in the months, years, decades, and even lifetimes to come. Clearly, our actions also influence our family, our community, today and into the future. Always remember, consider climate change for an example. Consider climate change, one of the most pressing environmental issues of our time, as a lesson in karma. Climate change is not happening because Nature just decides to send extra heat or extra coal or rivers go crazy, etc., etc. It is happening because of something that we did, or maybe not us, or maybe us in a previous incarnation. How did we come, in fact, how did we cause greenhouse gas concentration to rise so high that they are forcing myriad climate changes? True, well, over a century of burning fossil fuels, through cutting down forests, and through increased rising or rather raising of animals for meat, many of our parents, grandparents, and great grandparents, to a lesser degree, all did this without thought of future consequences. Indeed, my friends, it wasn't until the last decade that we began to recognize that there might be a long-term problem with this behavior. And it is, as clear, it is clear as day the human race created threatening circumstances we and future generations will now face. Brothers and sisters, our environment, our environmental karma is of our own creation. We call it environmental karma. Our own environmental karma is catching up with us. You think when somebody take a bottle, a plastic bottle, and just throw it out the window, or throw it in the river, or throw a plastic there, etc., etc., you think that would not catch up with us? As a global civilization, we continue the same practices today, even though the negative effects are becoming more and more apparent by the month. Friends, in some ways, it will be extremely hard to stop our harmful practices, not to mention reversing the damage we have already caused to Dharati Mata. Who will suffer the worst of the environmental problems we have created? Certainly not our parents. Even those of us who are already adults today may not bear the brunt of them. It will be our children, our grandchildren, our great-grandchildren, and the future generations who will suffer the consequences of our mistakes today. Supposing a forest at the headwaters of a large river is excessively cleared, the loggers, my friends, they only see what is called the immediate economic benefit. But over the years, great numbers of animals may die due to habitat loss. Disastrous flooding may result as hillsides wash away. And you know, in 19, what it was, 1996, we went to what is called as the um, Gomuk, where the Ganga started, you know? And there, we, we trek all the way up. I think it's about 20 something kilometers we trek from Gangotri all the way to Gomuk, where the Ganga starts. And doctor, it was so beautiful, but it was freezing. The mountain was, the, the glaciers in the mountain were so beautiful. It was freezing cold. And there the, the Ganga started. You see the mouth, the Gomuk itself. And the water is just flowing, trickling out, flowing beautifully out. And freezing, yeah? and the water is still flowing. And Swamiji so said, are you all going to take a bath? Minus, I don't know, 20 something? Bath? <laughs> Swamiji started taking out his arm. Um, Kurta and Lungi and stuff. And I said, Swamiji, you're going? He said, yes. I said, if you're going, I'm going too. 
But all you could do is about less than five seconds, take a dip, one dip, two dip, three dips, and back out. Maximum, the skin will get red. So Swamiji went in, I jumped in second. When you come out, skin is burning, and you could get immediate fever also. Thank God it didn't happen. But my point is, the glaciers were there, beautiful, and mountain was thing, uh, there. Now you can't go there. The glaciers is all melting. Climate change has affected it. So now Gomuk, that place of what you call a pilgrimage, where you can actually go as a Hindu, and you have been hearing in the Shiv Puran, in the Bhagavad Puran, and the scriptures where the Ganga flows from the Jata of Lord Shiva, and he's sitting up there, and it comes out of the mouth of this cow, Gomuk. Because the mountain shapes like a cow. It can't go see, the, see that again because it's dangerous now. Friends, those who are what you call logging, the loggers, etc., they only see the econ economic benefit. But over the years, great numbers of animals may die due to habitat loss, disastrous flooding, hillsides washed away, and cause of blockages downstream. We see it happening right here in Trinidad. Similarly, emissions of invisible greenhouse gases create atmospheric overload and dangerous climate changes. Decades after the action that caused them such long-term environmental changes, one leading to another cannot be easily halted or reversed. There is something beautiful in the Taitri Upanishad, but I don't have the time to tell you. But there is something I can't leave out as I conclude tonight. We all know of the five elements. You all know the five elements? Akash, Vayu, the younger children, Agni, Akash, Vayu, Agni, Jal, and Prithvi are the five elements, right? Akash is space, Vayu is air, Agni is fire, water is uh, Apas is water or uh, whatever, and then you have Prithvi, earth. Akash is said to be the most subtle of the five, and there is no place where space is not. Can you think of a place where there is no space? Either there is no Akash. Akash is nothingness. Like the popular conception of outer space, on the contrary, Akash is absolute fullness. So this room is full of space. Then somebody else may come and say, no, no, the room empty. It only has space. So it is full with space. Akash represents openness, brightness, expansive, and the fullness of blooming capacity. That's Akash. Second, Vayu. Vayu manifests on earth as the atmosphere, the protective blanket of gases that surrounds the planet, regulating temperature, and preventing excessive solar radiation from reaching Earth's surface. That is called Vayu. Air connects and affects everything from animals breathing in and out to plants through the process of photosynthesis, exchanging the gas during the daytime as well as in the nighttime. And we all know what photosynthesis is. So, my friends, whether, whether it's the uh, oxygen or carbon dioxide, etc. Third, you have Agni. Fire has been worshipped in Sanatan Dharma since the beginning of time. Fire purifies, fire destroys, fire inspires. From the sun to lightning to fire in, the, in its mundane uh, sacred form, Agni brings warmth and visibility, visibility to the world. The Vedas sing the praises of Agni Dev. Agni Dev, according to the Rig Ved, it is said in one of the, the verses 
I magnify the Lord Agni Dev. The divine, the priest, the minister of the sacrifice, the offerer, the supreme, uh, the supreme, the giver of treasure. Agni from Agni Baba, the Ahuti, the oblations goes into there, and through the mantras and the powers of the mantras, it goes into the atmosphere, creating that positivity and energy and vibration. And don't feel that when you do Hawan and the smoke goes up and nothing else goes up, everything becomes ashes. Friends, the substance of that goes into the atmosphere. It goes to the devis and devutas. It goes and does what it has to do. It removes impurities because the Vedas, the Rig Veda says, it purifies. Water is the source and sustainer of life. Its immense sacredness is revealed only by its practical value to human agriculture, what you call health, environment, enjoyment, sorry, and the development of civilization. In the form of earths, rivers, water is so vast in its life-giving and life-sustaining properties that it is worshipped as the mother of life, as Mother Ganga. Kartik is coming up just now. The Hindus again. Hindus as well pray, you know. I tell you, every day on the Hindu calendar, Hindus are something to do, you know. So right now, Navratri just finished, and um, then Deepavali coming, and then between Navratri and Deepavali on the Hindu calendar, you'll see the month of Kartik comes. And when you hear that month come, you see Hindus down by the river. Oh, Ganga Mata, purify me, purify me. Jai Ganga Devi. Wash away everything. And then, when we don't do that, and we well pray, we take the garbage and throw it in. Very next thing, you know. And you know what we forget? Devi Sureshwari Bhagavati Gange Tribhuvan Tarini Tarala Tarangi Shankar Mauli Vihari Nivimali Mamamati Rastam Tava Pada Kamali Bhagirati Sukha Daini Mata Tava Jalamahi Mani Game Kyata Sing Jai Jai Gangi Jai Har Gangi Jai Jai Gangi Jai Har Gangi Jai Jai Gangi I think you're all hungry now. Water. It sustains life. We worship water. Friends, how can, how can we not um, take up the plastic? How can we actually litter in the modern civilization, the modern times we're living in now? How can we not take our garbage and dispose of it properly. How can we not use the IKEA bins for plastic recycling? There was a time, it's just recently in San Fernando area, is to have the IKEA bins. Um, by Massey stores, you have one at Price Smart, you have one in Duncan Village. So I used to feel happy, all my plastic bottles will be accumulated, and after a week or two, I have two big bags of plastic bottles that I know going in the bin. A time came when people started dumping their regular garbage in that bin, and the authorities took up the IK bin, so no more plastic bottles, you have to put it. I went one day looking for almost an hour and a half for IK bin I couldn't find it in San Fernando, just to drop my plastic bottles, because I felt happy not putting the plastic bottles in the regular bin. It could go and get recycled. Today, as Hindus, especially the Hindus, we are, we are the ones who should not disrespect Dharati Mata and the environment. In no way possible. If other people want to do it, then that's their problem. But we worship. We worship Ganga Mata. We worship our water. We worship the space. We worship the Agni. We bow to the earth. We do everything religiously. We see sacredness in everything. And yet, in one hand, we praise it, and the other hand, we destroy it.
earth dharti ma is the what you call the densest of the five elements is the ground upon which life takes place it is the body of divin uh, of the divine a living on organism metaphysically metaphorically and biologically the earth my friends is the densest of it all hindus have recognized this over all the millennia knowing that all creatures are intimately connected to the earth dharti mata without its gift we are nothing in this world in friends without its gift we are nothing in this world there is something that destroys space there is something that destroys akash there is something that destroys vayu there is something that destroys water there is something that destroys the earth and that we will see in the next year ke when we continue dharti ma tomorrow night you will be blessed to have the blessing of shri swami prakashanand ji you have had a geeta diri for the past for the first two nights tonight uh, uh, myself and my group and tomorrow swami ji will be here to join with you as i conclude let me express my love and gratitude to the ncic once again last year i told them i wasn't going to come back after 16 years last year was 16 years this is 17th year but i thank you i thank you for your love your appreciation and your blessing it's always a pleasure to be here and to be part of this wonderful organization at this time we will all stand for the final purnahuti as we join also in the final aarti om purnamadah purnamidam purnat purnamudachati पूर्णस्य पूर्णमादाय पूर्णमेवावशिष्यते ओम सर्वं वै पूर्णगम स्वाहा ओम सर्वपापहरं दिव्यं गांगेयं निर्मलं जलं आत्मन्यं मया दत्तं गृहान परमेश्वरं ओम श्री गंगा आत्मन्यं समर्पयामि ओम वनस्पतिरसो भूतो गंधाद्यो गंधरोत्तम आग्रिय सर्वेवाम धूपोय प्रति गृहता धूपोय प्रति गृहता एवरी वन डेफ यू हैंड्स रिसीव द ब्लेसिंग्स ओम जय गौरी दया की जय मैया जग जननी दया की जय कुमार ब्रह्मी कुमार ब्रह्मी अपने शरण में जय जय गौरी की जय
तुम्ही हो शिव अंगी माता तुम्हारे अंगिन भक्त तुम्हारे अंगिन नित प्रति गुण दाता शलम जय मंगल प्रतिदिन कुशल जय मंगल प्रतिदिन कुशल जय मंगल प्रतिदिन कुशल जय मंगल माता च पिता बंधु चमेवा विद्या द्रवीण मम ओ शांति 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 लोका समस्ता सुखिनो 
लोकासमस्ता सुकिनो भवन्तु लोकासमस्ता सुकिनो भवन्तु मीडिया भी पीस इन स्पेस आकाश मीडिया भी पीस इन वायु मीडिया भी पीस इन अग्नि मीडिया भी पीस इन आपस वाटर मीडिया भी पीस ऑन अर्थ मे धरती माता फॉर एवर बी पीसफुल प्रभु बोले वृंदावन विहारी लाल की जय उमापति महादेव की जय पवन सुत हनुमान की जय बोलो भाई सब संतन की जय धरती माता की धरती माता की धरती माता की प्रेम से बोलिए सत्य सनातन धर्म की एनसीआईसी की दिवाली नगर की 2023 ट्वेंटी थ्री विक्ट्री एंड सक्सेस तो दिवाली नगर 2023